anyone that is familiar with Politics America, there, there is always a consistent anti-communist or anti-socialist uh, bias there. And also, that is also heard many times, is that this is Christian America. And so we have many Christians uh, attacking communism and socialism and thinking that it's somehow connected to their religion as is somehow Christianity dictates that you should be a capitalist or an anti-socialist. Well, if we actually examine the Bible, which I intend to do in this video, is to show that communism is very much well in line with Christianity. Now, Taylor X04 did a video on this, but only in tongue-in-cheek. He did that over a year ago, but he has now since withdrawn the video. But I intend to do it here seriously. I not plan to discuss if communism is actually effective and what it does, only to make the connection that Christianity can and does support communism. So, what are the main elements of communism? Well, there are at least three main elements. The first is communal ownership. Is that all goods are for all people. There is no one wanting, no one lacking at all. The next is that they are distributed according to need. Uh, so you do your work and everybody receives according to their need. Uh, and the third one that I notice in communism is usually um, a hatred of the rich. Uh, or trying to equalize the rich uh, with the poor. All these three elements are typically in uh, communism or socialism in that manner. So can we actually find uh, something that suggests this in the Bible? Well, let's see. Uh, let's go to Acts uh, chapter 4, and we're going to read verses 32 and 34 through 35. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither any of them said that the ought of the things of the he possesses was his own, but they were all things common. Neither was there anything among them that lacked, for as many as possessed the lands and houses or houses sold them, and bought brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down with the apostles' feet, and distributing was made unto every man according to he had need. Well, that pretty much uh, uh, includes the first two, uh, the two first two premises. So let's, let's find the third one. If we look at Matthew uh, 19, uh, verse 21 and 24. And Jesus said to him, If thou be perfect, sell that what thou hast, give it to the poor, and thou shalt not try to betray him, and come and follow me. And of course the man went away, and Jesus said, Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go with the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. This, to give it a context, a rich man was asking Jesus, what does he need to do to achieve salvation? And pretty much he said he'd done everything. He's followed the commandments. And so Jesus said, well, you're lacking that you still lack something. So to just sell your riches and give it to the poor. So again, there, there's the idea of, you know, giving it all for the poor and giving to make the world better, of course. Um, and this is a very common theme in the Bible, always give to the poor. But does does it say does it say something more abrasive towards the rich well it does if we uh, actually le read uh, the parable of lazarus which is in luke uh, chapter 16 verses 19 through 31 of course we have uh, lazarus being used in a parable in conjunction with a rich man and of course lazarus who was uh, poor uh, in that parable, uh, of course, goes to Abraham's bosom, but the rich man suffers. And so we, we see that, uh, that the rich are typically vilified uh, in the Bible. Not always, but they typically are, for they, they have the, uh, the wealth, and it corrupts them. And that is also a common theme 
in uh, communism where wealth corrupts the rich and the rich oppress the poor. So as we can see that there is plenty of room for biblical support for com to be a communist um, and a Christian, um, even if we look up historically, uh, the found the uh, those who are uh, colonists of America actually tried communal farming. Um, they weren't very successful, but they actually did communal farming. And also, um, Lenin actually most of his support before he came to power was from the church. Of course, that turned around and uh, bit the Christians in the butt. But as we can see, there is nothing mutually exclusive from being a Christian and being a communist. Uh, heck, we can, as I showed you, there is a good correlation between Christianity and communism. It is possible to be a Christian and a communist. So if you're a Christian and you're not a communist, the question is why? Because there is good support to be a communist if you're a Christian. But I'm just saying. Peace. Take care.